paralysed man named Alex sits in his wheelchair. He hasn't moved his arms in years. But right now, he's playing rock, paper, scissors with a robotic hand. Not with a remote control, not with buttons, with his mind. The robotic hand moves exactly like he thinks it should. Each finger curls when he wants it to. And here's the crazy part. That robotic hand isn't just some medical device. It's part of Tesla's Optimus robot. The same robot Elon Musk wants to put in every home and factory on Earth. This isn't just another tech demo. This is the moment when human brains and robot bodies became one. And it changes everything we thought we knew about the future. Just a few months ago, Elon Musk dropped shockwaves through the robotics world. Anyone with a Neuralink chip can now control a Tesla Optimus robot using only their thoughts. Not their voice, not their hands, just their mind. Let that sink in for a moment. A person can think about moving an arm and somewhere else in the world a robot arm moves exactly like they imagined. They can think about walking and a robot walks. They can think about picking up a cup and robotic fingers wrap around it perfectly. But this isn't the talks of future anymore, it's happening right now. The proof came from Alex, a patient who suffered a spinal cord injury. Before Neuralink, he couldn't write or draw. Those abilities were just gone. But now, with a tiny chip in his brain connected to robotic hardware, he can control a robotic hand in real time. Every finger movement comes directly from his thoughts. The wild part, this robotic hand is actually a prototype from Tesla's Optimus robot. The same humanoid robot that Elon Musk plans to mass produce for homes, offices and factories worldwide. Alex isn't just controlling a medical device, he's controlling the future of robotics with his mind. The science behind this breakthrough sounds like magic, but it's surprisingly simple. Neuralink's chip reads tiny electrical signals from the brain. These are the same signals that normally tell your muscles to move, but instead of going to paralyze muscles, they go to a computer. The computer translates these brain signals into commands that a robot can understand. When Alex thinks about curling his finger, his brain creates specific patterns of electrical activity. Neuralink captures these patterns, decodes them instantly, and sends the commands to robotic fingers. There's no delay, no lag time. It's as smooth and natural as moving your own hand. The only difference is that the hand isn't made of flesh and bone. It's made of metal and motors. But Optimus takes this to a whole new level. It's not just a hand. It's a complete humanoid robot that can walk, balance, lift heavy objects, and perform complex tasks. When you combine brain control with a full robotic body, you get something truly incredible. Now, before we move forward to talk about other exceptional updates to the Tesla Optimus, if you are interested in watching which two other robots match the class of Tesla Optimus in terms of innovation, then make sure to watch the video on your screen. But Musk didn't stop there. Just recently, he revealed another massive update. Optimus is now running Grok, a powerful AI voice assistant. This means the robot doesn't just take commands from thoughts, it can have actual conversations. Imagine walking into your living room and saying, Optimus, grab that wrench and bring it to me. Instead of just following the command blindly, Optimus could respond with which wrench, the small one or the large one? That back and forth conversation changes everything. Before this, robots could only follow pre-programmed instructions. Now they can understand context, ask questions and even handle changes mid-task. If you say, actually, never mind the wrench, bring me a screwdriver instead, Optimus can adapt instantly. This isn't just about convenience, it's about creating robots that think and communicate like humans. Grok doesn't just convert speech to text commands, it understands meaning, context and even humour. It knows when you're joking and when you're being serious. For people with paralysis or mobility issues, this technology is life-changing. Imagine someone who hasn't walked in years suddenly being able to control a robotic body with their thoughts. They could attend family gatherings, go to work, or even dance at their wedding through a robot. This isn't about replacing human bodies. It's about giving people new ways to interact with the world when their biology fails them. An elderly person who can't lift heavy objects anymore could control robotic arms to help with daily tasks. Someone with limited mobility could use a robotic body to climb stairs or reach high shelves. The emotional impact is huge too. Alex wasn't just moving a robotic hand, he was creating, expressing himself and connecting with the world in ways he thought were lost forever. That's not just technology, that's human dignity restored. While Musk was making headlines with brain-controlled robots, other countries weren't sitting still. China just revealed some shocking developments that are making the entire tech world nervous. First, they unveiled robot soccer tournaments where fully autonomous humanoid robots play complete games without any human control. These aren't remote-controlled toys. They're AI-powered robots that can run, kick, pass and make split-second decisions just like human players. But that's not the scary part. 
China also revealed mosquito-sized robot drones that can fly undetected into buildings. These tiny machines can record video, capture audio, and even interfere with electronics. They're so small they could slip through window screens without anyone noticing. Even more concerning, China now leads the world in robotics patents. They're not just building robots, they're claiming legal ownership of the key technologies that everyone else will need to build their own robots. It's like owning the patents for wheels and then charging everyone else to use them. Not to be outdone, Google just announced their own breakthrough called Gemini Robotics. This new AI system can run entirely on a robot's hardware without needing internet connection. The robot can see, understand and act all by itself. The impressive part? Google's system can learn new tasks with fewer than 100 demonstrations. Show a robot how to fold clothes 50 times and it masters the skill. This is a huge leap from the thousands of examples robots usually need. Google's approach focuses on making robots smarter at understanding what they see and translating that into physical actions. Combined with Tesla's brain control technology, we're seeing the building blocks of truly intelligent robots coming together. Tesla's breakthrough has forced every other robotics company to step up their game. At recent tech shows, companies like Neuro Robotics revealed their latest humanoid robot, the 4NE1 Gen 3. This robot is designed specifically for real-world deployment in warehouses, factories and even homes. What makes it special? Safety. The robot has force feedback sensors that let it work safely alongside humans. If it senses unexpected resistance, it stops immediately. It also has swappable hands and tools, making it adaptable to different tasks. Other companies are rushing to add voice control, better AI and more human-like movement to their robots. The race is on to create the first truly general-purpose humanoid robot that regular people can afford and use. This technology isn't just for paralysed patients or tech billionaires, it's coming to everyone. In a few years, the robots stocking grocery store shelves, cleaning hotel rooms or assembling products in factories might be controlled by human minds. Imagine having a robot helper in your home that you can control with your thoughts when your hands are busy. Or being able to attend important meetings through a robot when you can't travel. The possibilities are endless, but it also raises big questions. If your mind can control a robot body, where do you end and the machine begin? What happens when the technology becomes so advanced that the line between human and robot gets blurry? Think about your daily routine. You wake up and your brain-controlled robot is already making coffee because it sensed your thoughts as you were waking up. While you're in the shower, you think about what clothes you want to wear and your robot lays them out perfectly. During your commute, you control a robot at your office to start preparing for meetings before you even arrive. Parents could use these robots to help with childcare. While cooking dinner, you could control a robot to help your kids with homework in another room. Elderly people could maintain their independence longer by having robotic bodies that don't get tired or weak. A grandparent could play with grandchildren through a robot, even when they're too frail to visit in person. The job market will transform completely. A single skilled worker could control multiple robots in different locations. One surgeon could perform operations in three different hospitals at the same time. A teacher could give lessons to students around the world through robotic bodies. Construction workers could build skyscrapers while sitting safely in control rooms. The social implications are mind-blowing. Dating could involve controlling robots to meet people. Sports might become competitions between human-controlled robots rather than human athletes. Even family dinners could include relatives who are physically thousands of miles away but present through robotic bodies. Privacy becomes a huge concern too. If your thoughts can control machines, who has access to those thoughts? Could companies or governments monitor your brain signals? Could hackers take control of your robot body? These aren't just tech problems, they're questions that will reshape society itself. The economic impact will be massive. Countries with the best brain robot technology will dominate global markets. Workers who can't afford neural implants might find themselves unemployed. The gap between enhanced and non-enhanced humans could become the biggest divide in human history. What makes this moment so special is that we're not talking about distant future possibilities anymore. The technology exists today. Alex is already controlling robotic hands with his thoughts. Optimus is already having conversations with humans. The building blocks are in place. The next few years will determine who wins the global robotics race. Will it be Tesla with their brain-controlled robots? China with their massive patent portfolio? Google with their smart AI systems? Or will some other company surprise everyone? One thing is certain. Elon Musk just changed the game forever. By giving Optimus a brain and connecting it to human thoughts, he's opened a door that can never be closed. We're entering a new era where humans and robots don't just work together. They become extensions of each other. 
The future isn't about replacing humans with machines. It's about giving humans new ways to be human. And that future is starting right now.